Hi everybody, new video from Big Apple Pipes. This week, I'm gonna talk about the tobacco that I haven't smoked in years. I smoked it many years ago. I like it. I think it's a hidden jewel. I don't remember it here on this channel. I also posted the review I did a few months ago about the Le Petit Robin from the same producer, uh, Vincent Manil. Um, because I did it for the Italian video, but I don't remember if at the end of the day I published the English version or not. Um, anyway, the tobacco is a semua tobacco. This is tobacco that is, you know, a varietal of Burley that when was grown in the Ardennes region of Belgium uh, came out as a very different tobacco. Uh, then also the curing is a little different, but at the end of the day you get this very natural mid tobacco full of taste, very peculiar taste, very pleasant. Usually this kind of tobacco, like all the other Mediterranean and so-called natural of Europe, they have this shag cut and they're very dry. Uh, so they usually tend to burn very, very fast. And this is mainly because, you know, they were very popular tobacco. Uh, they were mainly purchased by, you know, common people just for the sake of, um, of smoking. Um, and it is usually a very cheap uh, low-cost inexpensive kind of tobacco that I mean it got into its own niche later on and for sure now with our current generation of hedonist pipe tobacco uh, pipe smokers as I call them but still they were used both you know you could smoke them as a cigarette you could just roll them into a cigarette or you can just fill the pipe if you needed to have your hands empty right to work in the you know in the farms or, or whatever um, so what's interesting about this Labolut which is the one I'm reviewing today it, it's that it is the latest addition uh, to the Vincent Manil catalog and it is extra thick as a cut so instead of being the usual shag or a little large shag cut because even La Brumeuse it's supposed to be a ribbon but in reality is a very thin ribbon so it's really between a, a, a proper ribbon and a shag so it's not really you know pipe sort of ribbon um, so in this case we have a semoir that is intended to be smoked in the pipe so for sure it will be as dry as usual but i also expect it to be more enjoyable because it will burn slower for sure and i will also take the chance and you know um, moisturize it a little bit um, at least some of it just to try the difference and let's see how it is so i'm very much looking forward to it because it is a tobacco that is very peculiar not very easy to find uh, but it's so interesting and uh, yeah that's about it uh, let's go let's have a look and if i i will check my youtube channel if i haven't published the le petit Robin here i will probably tell you something more about this tobacco this emois in the leather part after I will have to be smoked. I will have smoked this one. Let's go. Here is, if you are familiar with Semois tobacco, you also know that, uh, you know, it's packaged and sold in these bricks, sort of bricks of tobacco. Uh, that it's, you know, it has this label. Now I, I cut it because I opened the brick for my Italian version of the video. This is the this is Mr. Vincent Manil itself, and you know this is the label, which is also pretty cool. And uh, when I reviewed the uh, Petit Robin, now I don't remember if I I should have checked actually, but I didn't. <laughs> I don't remember if I only did for the Italian version of the channel of or I also uh, published it here. Um, but the Petit Robin it has just a different kind of uh, color. It's similar. I kept it because I just love this labels so this was the one uh, it is always 100 grams you see 3.5 ounces and the only thing that is different is you know the label containing the name of the tobacco because the other it's pretty much the same um, as you can see the name of this one is La Volute that it means it's I don't know how you say it in English it's like the spiral of smoke because it's the same in Italian Voluta 
uh, XXL cut, and this is because uh, Semois is usually in a very thin shag cut, but in this case it's a proper ribbon, so now I'm gonna show you this tobacco, but I will also show you the petit ben I have left, so you can see the difference in the cut of this tobacco. Um, if you are not familiar with the history of Semois, it is pretty interesting because this was this person, I don't remember his name, uh, that brought Burley tobacco from the United States to Belgium and started growing it in the Ardennes region, you see, Ardennes region of, um, of Belgium. It was an history of persistence and resilience because everybody were telling him that, him that you know, the, it's not the right climate, it's not the right ground, it's not the right area, it was not a good idea to grow tobacco there. But what happened is that when the Burley started growing there, it was very different than any other Burley ever grown. And therefore, the Semois tobacco became the Semois, it is now a varietal by itself, and it has a very peculiar flavor, taste, that is different from the standard Burley. Then of course it's toasted, it has a, its own processing, uh, but the basis it's a very different effect from um, the result itself, the flavor, the palette is very different than the Burley that you would naturally expect. Um, what else can I tell you? It's very dry, as you can tell. Um, it's only grown there, it's very natural, there's really not much processing going on, just some curing and the cooking. And this is how it looks like, you see, it, some say it's a crumble cake, but in reality it's not really a crumble cake, it's just that this tobacco is pressed into bricks, okay, if you get any other tobacco by Vincent Manin it will be the same thing, okay, but I will not call it a crumble cake, it's just very dry tobacco that is pressed. The color is amazing, and as you can see the, the cut is reasonably ribbon, okay, it is super dry, so you can see. Um, it should be smoked as it is, uh, you can eventually, I, I sometimes I add very light moisture, very very light, I want it dry, I just don't want it as this, as dry as it is now because it's almost going to become powder, so I just want a little bit like, I don't know, less than 10% humidity. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the uh, Petit Robin that I have, which is another tobacco. In this case it's a blend, it's the only blend that Vincent Manil produced, so it's a blend of tobacco with approximately 30% of Semois. Okay, so as you can see it is pretty different. Now it's completely gone, it used to be a brick as well, but it's much, you see, much thinner. This is a shag almost for cigarette, but you know all Mediterranean tobacco usually have this kind of shag tobacco, and this one is a proper ribbon, okay. Also the smell is very different, the Petit Robin is much sweeter, so you can definitely no, know that there, there is some Virginia there, um, which, and this one is not, so this one is definitely not sweet, but it's very woody, it's a very interesting kind of flavor, it smells like some kind of cookie, dark cookie, or pumpernickel bread, this kind of thing, so it's very interesting, like rye bread, it's very hearty, very nutty, as you can tell, I am already smoking it, but I will tell you what I think about it shortly. Okay, here we are. I realized that I can still use the wired microphone if I keep it distant from anything else, otherwise you start feeling the, how can I say, the very annoying noise of the microphone touching, you know, the sweater, the scarf or whatever, which is super annoying. So I'll keep it like this. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to talk about the Semois, uh, which I smoked last week. Actually, I smoked it a few weeks ago, okay? But it has been a very busy, intense week at work. I wasn't able to finish, or probably finish the video. So I'm doing it right now, and I will also do the one about the Solani um, in a few minutes. Uh, I'm taking a chance to show you the Empire State, super cool, especially when it's a little cloudy like it is now, in which you cannot see the top, but it's still very charming. The same way, it's a tobacco that I'm not sure if, you know, American smokers have any comparison. 
Um, it really belongs to the tradition of Mediterranean tobacco. So if you go to Italy, you will have the Forte. If you go to France, you will have the Caporal. Uh, if you go to Greece, I don't remember which one you have. But those are very rude, rustic tobacco. Um, that are not, uh, how can I say, overly complex in terms of flavors and tastes. Um, but they give you a very interesting smoke, which is full-bodied, straight, to the point. There's no evolution. It's good pretty much in any pipe you put in. It's really a tobacco that is intended to be smoked, okay? Um, and so is the Semois. Um, the Lavolut is very interesting because the smoke, it's actually, the smoke experience is a little different than this traditional Semois um, because the cut really makes a difference. And this tobacco is so oily that even though it is as dry as hell, it's difficult to let it burn to actually, I mean, it, it's when, when you um, when you light it up then it will stay lit but it will take a while to take the fire to take the flame and start burning and it's very interesting um, it also took me a few days and I'm sorry I will cut this here because there is a okay there was a fire department um, uh, it, it takes you a while because it's so rustic, it's so rude, it's so aggressive on your tongue if you're not used to it um, that it took me a few days to start actually enjoying its woodiness, its hurtiness. Um, it's very dark, it's very enjoyable because it's so easy um, and it's the same in any pipe you put it. Um, so it is very enjoyable but you have to appreciate a strong, uh, full-bodied, um, kind of rough some flavors and smoke so if you're into those kind of things if you're used to the Mediterranean tobacco you will love it um, otherwise you will probably not like it that much and it's not is it also not a cheap tobacco because it costs like 28 dollars for 100 grams which is quite a lot of money for United States standard um, so I can understand that it's sort of a niche in the American market Anyway, I will put in the description a very interesting um, article about this tobacco that came out of the, on the New York Times a few years ago, which is very cool. And yeah, let me know if you smoked it and what you think about it. Uh, personally, I do like to smoke every once in a while this kind of tobaccos. Um, so yeah, I totally loved it. Um, and I still have it. And uh, when I want to have a nice smoke but it's also a quick smoke because it burns quite fast i mean it takes a while to get a lit but then it's it's it burns quite fast then it's very satisfying but again you have to get used to his rough tone okay anyway let me know what you think about it and talk with you very soon about <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i was scaring that that lady um about the Solani English mixture. See you next time.